Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Dish and the video today is perfect for job seekers na obviously naghanap ng work sa government. I will be sharing with you guys tips on how to apply sa Philippine government and it's medyo different from applying sa private company. So I will be doing this in three parts. First part is the application procedure. Second part is the pre-employment thing or phase. And then third part is what to expect pag when you're applying and when you're already um, starting or pag mag-start na kayo sa work. So yeah. Okay, so for the first part, number one, super non-negotiable ang um, civil service eligibility. So, Ang civil service eligibility, it's divided, wait, no, not divided, pero may dalawang types ng civil service eligibility. So, first kind is the CSE professional, and then second kind is the CSE sub -block. So, ang difference niya, ano ba difference niya? Apparently, if you want or if target niyo ang higher positions, then you should have the CSE professional certificate. So, ano mo yung CSE? CSE is the exam that everyone who wants to work in the government takes para makakuha ka ng work sa government. And, it's super non-negotiable. If gusto mong maging regular ka, then you have to have your eligibility. Pero I know na you can work for the government even without the CSE. Pero I think job order position or contactual position and not regular. Yung magiging position mo. Yung civil service exam, it's given by the CSC, the Civil Service Commission. I'm actually not sure sa requirements. So I'll just put it here. Kasi honestly, hindi ko na matandaan. But I know you have to be 18 years old and above para makatake ng exam. And then, if you graduated with Latin honors or if you passed the bar exam or any board exam, I know you're exempted from taking the CSC because automatic eligible ka na. You just have to go to the to any CSC office and request for a certification, something. I'll put it here again. I honestly don't know. I took the exam 2015. And, okay, so what to expect during the exam? It was easy. Para lang siyang entrance test. Except for the last part. Kasi sa last part, meron ng boss. And things about the environment, but nothing too hard, I swear. Sa loss naman, you just have to read the entire parang, article. Okay, so sa application procedure for the CSE, you have to go there quickly. I mean, when they open, you have to apply na agad. Kasi... Um, ubusan siya ng receipt. So, pag wala ng receipt yung ganitong office, that means you have to go to another office para lang mag-submit na application mo. Based from experience, kasi wag niyo akong magayahin na i on the last day and at the last hour sa SM pa, so maraming tao. And yung receipts nila is limited nila. So, yung ibang taong from CSE, they actually had the count na ng mga tao sa line. So, yeah, they have 90, tick, 90 receipts na lang. So, everyone who's lined up na until 90, hanggang dun na lang. Yung mga number 91 and above, they have to go to the satellite office, I think. I'm not sure kung satellite office yung tawag. Basta, they have to go to the CSE office just to file their application. So, yeah. On the top. Yes. Okay, so also, it's important that you don't lose your certificate because when I went to CSE, I think last year, to ask for another copy, they said that they won't be issuing copies because they will issue cards or wearing ID cards. And yeah, so what else? About the CSE. Okay, so wala na akong maisip about the CSE because wala akong notes, obviously. Just doing it. Kasi kanina, ang dami nagdab. I might as well just make a video about it. Number one tip is to be civil service eligible because it's really non-negotiable. Okay, so second thing, when you're applying, you always have to have these documents ready. So first, you have to have your CSE certificate 
And then second, you have to have your EOR or diploma. And then third, merong tinatawag na personal data sheet or the PDS. Yung PDS is equivalent ng resume. So everything is there. I actually don't have a copy of my PDS right now. But sa first part, parang everything's there na talaga. Hindi mo na kailangan magsabit ng resume kasi lahat ng details sa resume mo ilipat sa PDS and mas maraming information yung hihingi ng PDS kasi. So meron dong personal background, educational background, family background, work background, trainings and seminars attended. I think my hobbies din. And then my checklist sila na kung may if you have been contacted at any time or if you are a foreign good luck. Good luck foreign citizen. So my checklist sila and then my references. So para lang talaga siyang resume na mas mahaba. So, yeah, yun lang naman that yung normally na hindihin. Your PDS, your TOR, and the CSE certificate. So, now you're ready to apply. First thing you have to do when you're applying, just like it with any work naman siguro, dapat ma-pinpoint mo na kung saan department mo gusto mag-work and anong function yung gusto mong gawin. Kasi sa isang department, there are a lot of units and a lot of positions. So, para maging efficient and being worthwhile naman yung job ko, huwag kang mag-apply sa, kanari, sa accounting or yeah, anything related to accounting kung alam mo hindi naman pang accounting yung gusto mong career pa. So, and sa government naman, madami naman siyang job positions na super diverse you can apply sa banking, you can apply sa marketing, tourism, sa economics, writing, legal. When you're done deciding what job you want to take, what career path you want to take, now it's time to send out your applications. You can either choose any of the two. So one, you can go to the office, you can go to their HR office, and then two, can submit your resume or apply online. So, I've tried both. Because when I was looking for a job, parang super in a plan ko talaga lahat. And based from my experience, when I applied online, usually they just give out red receipts um, and never get back to you after. I think three lang na government agencies yung nag-reply sa akin and I was fortunate enough to get an interview schedule with them. Um, yun yung ina-plan ko online. Pero if you go to their office mismo, normally, nagbibigay na sila ng date for the exam. I'm not sure, pero based from experience, I mean, pag nag-submit ka ng resume mo and there are open positions, they will usually ask you if you're okay to go back to the office on this date for your exam. And sometimes, I think, na interview na rin. I'm not sure. Wala ko si HR. So, I'm really not sure. If wala ka pa lang PDS and you submit it sa office, they will ask you to fill out the PDS kasi yun nga talaga yun. And, yeah. I'm not sure talaga sa iba if they give um, exam dates na agad. But, for sa iba, nagbibigay sila ng exam dates and also initial interview dates. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so, that's it for the application process. Tip number one is to have a lot of patience. And I need a lot of patience. Kasi hindi siya yung Okay, so after one week, you go back. After one week, it's your initial interview. After one week, you take the exam. If you pass, okay, final interview and then job offer. It's not like that. It takes months to process your application. It takes months for you to actually get a call back from them if you really want it and if you really want to work sa government. You have to be patient. And I know it's hard to be patient because based from my experience, like exam ako January, 
uh, January and then lang yung results ako. So, yun the pagkakas. But, yeah, okay. So, you're done with the first part which is the application process. Next part is actually the pre-employment. So, when you're done and when they tell you na, okay, sige, you're hired, so you have to complete all of these requirements. So, basically, you just, yung start date mo, kung hindi ikaw yung parang, kung hindi sa'yo nakadepend, usually, may start date silang target. So, it's, Pero kung yun, natapos mo siya July 1. But then, you will have to report to the office July 20. So, 1 to 20, parang it's your vacation. Kasi July 20 ko mag-start. But if it's an urgent position, then you can start anytime. You can actually start right after you are cleared with everything. Okay, so for the pre-employment, usually if you are a fresh graduate, Super mahirap siya kasi ang daming hihingin sa'yo. Like, IDs and BIR and police clearance, barangay clearance. You have to have valid IDs and a lot of valid IDs. Tapos, so basically, yun yung time na kukunin mo siya lahat. NBI clearance can take, pwede siyang instant. I mean, pwede mo siyang on the day makuha. Or you have to wait for like two weeks or three weeks dahil may hit yung pangalan mo. Which always happens to me. And then, NBI clearance, police clearance. I think you also have to have your NBI clearance. I'm not sure. Fiscal clearance, police cle- barangay clearance, and a lot of clearances. So, during this time, the pre-employment stage, and general, like, you have to secure your diploma if you don't have it yet, your residence sketch, a lot of clearances, a lot of getting yung mga mandatory benefits like PSIS, PhilHealth, Pag-Ibig, things like that. And also, kailangan mo ng medical clearance which pag, pag sabihin ng doctor na, okay, you have to take this medicine na, then come back. Normally, dun napapatagal yung process, but if you're cleared, you're good to go. So that's it. What to expect when you're starting your job? Okay. So, because the government siya, hindi siya millennial, or at least yung company na I'm looking for, it's not a millennial company. Although they try to make it one, there's a lot of seniors. So, but everyone's pretty chill. I mean, everyone's a unit to answer the part. Yeah, everyone's department is pretty chill, so it's okay. Okay, so what to expect? Oh, yeah, okay. So, pag sa government ka, yung first salary mo, it's usually not given to you sa next cutoff. So, if you started sa 16th, you can't expect nasa 30, sa sweldo ka na. Usually, you have to have an attendance of one month before you, before you actually get your sweldo. Tapos, yeah. So, I think I missed something pa, but I'm not sure. Kasi super wala talaga akong gift and then post So, if I remember anything, I will just leave it down sa description box. And if you still have questions or if may malabo pa, or wala lang kung may, you know, if you want to ask for more tips like sa interview and sa exam, more than willing to help, just leave a comment down below. And you know, just let me know if I could be of service. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this video. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.